Let's talk about open houses. People tell me all the time that open houses do not work. I completely disagree. I do a lot of open houses, but I do things a little differently. Most agents, when they do an open house, they literally put the signs out front an hour before, and then they sit on the couch and watch the football game. That is not what I do. I pre-market open houses through my social media networks, but also I get the opportunity to invite a lot of my realtor friends and contacts. I invite them to the open houses. All of those things drive people to the open house. But let's talk a little bit what you do at an open house. When people are there, one, they gotta sign in. I make everybody sign in. You have the right to know who's been in your house. But two, I am interviewing them. I wanna know if they're already pre-qualified with a lender, if they have a house to sell, and even if they can financially afford your house. Because if they can't, I really don't need to show them the backyard. And when it comes to looky-loos, because I know people think your neighbors are just gonna come through, if they don't sign in, they don't get in. That's my rule, period. Now, open houses part two. Here's how open houses have changed. The internet has given all the buyers a ton of information out there. They know what houses are selling on your street, they know about the schools, they know about the school zones, everything like that, but they still gotta touch it. And open houses give them an opportunity. My last seven open houses that I've done have sold from people who came through the open house that weekend. And that just tells me they work. And so if you don't do an open house, that is fine. But if those buyers went to another open house, they might have written an offer on that open house. So I would highly encourage you to do open houses.